Hey everyone, I'm Dan from Stylophone, and uh, today we're really excited to share with you our new range in the CPM line. What we've, been, what we've done here is we've introduced a new, basically a multi-utility module. So it's got two filters, two envelopes, a sample and hold, a delay, and a little bit more function under the hood. So on its surface, it's just a multi-dynamic filter. What we've done is we've given eight different filter types ranging from a low pass on the generate, band pass, high pass, and notch, which the generate filters are known for being squelchy, gritty, and aggressive. And then we've combined that with a 2045 filter, which is much more known for that French house, Daft Punk kind of Madonna movement. So a little bit softer, a little bit more of a lush sound. And so we've kind of self-described it as the beauty and the beast of filter types. But it's way more than just a filter type. It's really a multi-utility module. So one of the things that you can do with this that is really quite exciting is how you can patch the filters. They can be run in series, they can be ran in parallel, or through this stereo switch, it can be a simple filter, a stereo filter pair with hard pan left and hard pan right, giving you all the options about how you might ever want to route this filter. But there's more. It's not just a filter, it's a VCA. And the one thing that's really exciting about this VCA, with these little triggers down here, we can see that they basically, once we turn off the looping envelope, we can see they act as a trigger for these envelopes. And what, they, what we can also do is when we turn this on, we can see there's a threshold knob that as soon as we bring the signal past that threshold, it becomes a trigger. It becomes an envelope follower that then triggers either envelope one or two respectively. And so that allows you to do some very fun sort of gating envelope following type features. And one thing, because of how you're able to route this, because you're able to route it in series, it can actually also function as a sidechain compressor or a sidechain ducker as well. So by routing a kick drum into the audio in, muting it so you don't hear it, and using it as a trigger to essentially route that back out into the audio one, invert the envelope, so now the envelope is, rather than pumping the volume up, it's gonna duck the volume down and basically give you a sidechain compression type feel. So, the, you know, two filters with two VCAs with all these routing capabilities, eight different filter types, you know, with all these wide array of different options and, and sound qualities, really the sky's the limit with what you're able to do with this thing. And the 2045 historically was really only just a, a 24 dB low pass filter. But what we've gone ahead and done is we've combined it with the, uh, the generate filters. So to create more of a band pass, band resistance and notch filters, we've just stacked those generate filters on top. Now all four peaks can all self resonate. So once you get around that three o'clock, these filters will all self oscillate and make a tone. And you can play around with the quality of that as you sort of, you know, make it more or less resonating. And then that resonating or that peak has a sort of a tenuverter, which can be controlled by either the envelopes or the sample and hold. So, and if, the idea behind this is it can be a semi-modular unit, but it is a wonderful multi-utility module that can be taken, these screws can come out, it can be entirely Eurorack compatible, it takes about 42 HP and 150 millivolts to get the power you need out of this. Standard ribbon cables through Eurorack, you connect your red to red, put it in your case, it will fit in any Eurorack format and scale with no matter what your system is.
To find out more about the Stylophone CPM DF8, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. Hey everybody, you are watching CatSynth TV. Thanks for checking out the new DF8. We're really stoked to share it with you and we're hoping this is going to be available around mid-September and uh, we're really excited to share this with the world. Thanks for checking it out.